everyone, this is Fantasy S and welcome back to Niche Fairy Flowers. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. We are picking up on a really exciting note because when we left off, our nichelings discovered a blind little pixie child in the grasses. So, we have invited her into the tribe. She has our newest god, Guardia Vina. And she has a bit of a problem. She's been wandering out on her own but with no help whatsoever, no one to look after her, it seems. And she is blind. Now, she has all her other functions. She's got nimble fingers, she's got a bat wing, she's a pixie. Uh, everything else is going fine, but she's blind, so she can't really, she doesn't know where she's going. Luckily, Ratharia, one of our princesses, is Ratharia a princess? I think she is. One of our princesses has taken pity on this child and invited her into the tribe. She's going to be looked after by our fairies and hopefully we'll look after our fairies in turn. Now she has very, very important genes uh, because she has B and E immunities which our tribe doesn't have at all. So fingers crossed, when she's older, we'll be able to go ahead and breed some of those cool things into our god lines. She does not have any fairy blood in her, so unfortunately she will not be able to breed with a future king. But she can definitely spread those genes among our gods, and who knows how all of that is going to come back later on down the generations. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. We are starting off with 194 food, oh geez, no, 194 nesting material, 204 food, and 11 nichelings. So, here we go. King Iliam has kind of rushed along over here to see what everything is, what's happening, what all the fuss is about, because Eld has quite excitedly started yapping away over here. Um, at the discovery of this new child. We have Ratharia over here who gave birth to Princess Rose and then she heard some rustling in the grasses so she kind of went in to check and found this little god. I think Yevina was wandering around um, by herself and maybe she kind of came across Ratharia and Princess Rose got a bit spooked and then ran back into the grasses, but luckily Ratharia managed to find her out. So we have all of those things going on. Quite, quite exciting. Also, Princess Vesjain, the eldest child of Fairy King Ilium, is now old enough to take on a mate, and she has picked out Prince Salium to pursue. So they have a 25% chance of having a fairy child, but uh, the immunities match, so that's kind of an important union we have going on over here. So fingers crossed everything goes well between these two. And we can have a lovely, lovely addition in their child to the tribe. And okay, Prince Sin is going to stick close to his father, the Fairy King. Meanwhile, Atarika, oh, is going to clear away some of these spots. Now, another thing, I had not realized how old Fairy King Ilium was getting. Thankfully, he has managed to have quite a few kids and he has his heir already in Prince Eld. So that's on all fine and well, we don't have to worry about it, but uh, Eld doesn't have a mate for himself, which could be problematic. Now I wanna, hold on a second, G and D, G and D, yeah, he doesn't have a mate for himself, so that could be a problem in the future. That's something we have to work on, G and D. We don't even have an F and I female, so that's kind of problematic. So I think it's going to be even more important to breed Yevina in with some of our gods. <sighs> For the future. Hopefully Vesjain manages to produce. If Vesjain can have a daughter with F and I, then that might be a future mate for Prince Eld. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Sometimes a certain generation has no problems in terms of finding mates and breeding, but then the way things work out brings a problem into the feud, like the generation after them. So, when we start having issues with immunities and uh, variation, then often you'll see problems occurring like a generation or two down, not necessarily in the generation we're in. So hopefully all of that gets worked out, but okay, let's, let's turn the day. Let's turn the day. Here we go. I have a feeling Vezjade will never be able to escape this particular area because She's always hunting. She's too busy hunting all the time. Too busy hunting to kind of catch up with everyone else. So, yeah. She's, she's occupied in that front. Alfa, let's grab a nut. 
Gathania is going to clear away this spot, and then the rock over here. Prince Salium is going to grab a berry, and then I think he's going to want to help out with the grass over here. We'll get Prince Eld to uncover little Yevina. There we go. We haven't had a good look at her, have we? So this is little Yevina. Doesn't she look adorable? Oh, she looks so cute. She looks so cute. So that's Yevina. And we also... Let's see. Yeah, so he's catching up with all of the adults over here. His mother, the new little child they've happened across. And everyone's getting a little bit excited over, over it all. So Yevina, I think, is going to stay behind Rotharia because she would be a little bit spooked by everything. All this activity, all this action. But I think the royal children would be quite nice to her. And then Ilium, let's clear away those spots. There we go. Atarika is nearing the end of her life. I feel so sad every time Anishling's not able to breed and pass on their genes. But then at the same time, if every single Anishling bred, then we would be in a little bit of a trouble. Like, we would be in trouble. Because we wouldn't have the resources to keep up with them and all their families. But I think everything's, everything's taking place quite nicely. And I'm glad we have diversity with the arrival of Yevina. Hopefully those blind eyes don't pass on. That would be very problematic. But uh, I think we're okay for now. Okay, Vazjane is ready to settle into a nest. I think she's gonna want to do a little bit of... Ah, darn it. She's gonna sacrifice that meat and kind of dive into the grasses. Can we get Ilium? Oh, okay, Ilium's gonna do some hunting, I guess. We have some meat over here. Hmm, maybe we'll encourage someone to show up with the, the scent of meat nearby. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, okay, let's get Alfe. Ooh, so many nuts, so many nuts. So nice, so nice. And Gathania's gonna help out. We have a bunnel nearby. I can see that bunnel. It's triggering some of our hunting instincts. But we're gonna control ourselves. Avina's gonna get another godstone. Avina could, I guess, stick by this tree and just help gather up berries. That might be something that she's really good at doing. And she might want to continue under the guidance of... Oh, there we go. Good on you, Salium, doing some hunting. Okay, Salium's gonna help out with that. Um, Sin is gonna try and guard this bit of meat as his older sister, Vesdrain, uh, goes into labor. And then Eld. Eld is gonna adventure a bit over here near his mother. Oh, look at him! He's an adult now, so that's kind of exciting. He's an adult. Very soon he should be ready to take over uh, the throne from his father. So that's kind of all fine and well. Atarika is on a final day. Oh no, okay, so she's gonna pass away here. I think Atarika got a bit too carried away with adventuring on her own and like she forgot about the rest of the tribe. Now she's in this little patch over here, far away from everyone else without any support. And I think when the, the tribe is near back from her, they're gonna realize that Possibly she has passed on from old age, which is so tragic that she's not with the tribe, but she's she's hidden from them. Only a few steps away, but she's hidden. Okay, let's see what Vezjane's gonna have. Hopefully no more frog legs. Hopefully no more frog legs. It's a fairy! Yes! And did we get frog legs? I think we got frog legs, but you know what? I'm not even upset because we got a little fairy. So that's awesome. We got a fairy with F and G. And she's got purple eyes! That's so pretty! Look at that! She has purple eyes, which is so nice! Okay, she needs a cool name. Uh, she's a god, yes? Yes, she's a god. So she is gonna be... God, let's see. God Monarch. I'm gonna call her Monarch. I think she's adorable. This is too cute, too cute. So, Monarch is gonna be a little bit of a like homage to the fact that she is the child of a prince and princess um but yes she is not royalty she doesn't count as royalty she's gonna be a god line um because she's not the daughter of a king so there we go we have a little god in little monarch but she's a fairy so that has me excited atarika has passed away unfortunately but luckily we have managed to get a, a female fairy from that from that little exchange and 
Let's see. I don't think we have to breed Ratharia and Ratharia and Ilium anymore. I feel as though with two sons and two daughters, they've done their part. Now I want to focus on Vezjane and Salium if possible. And then once Yevina has grown up, we might focus on Yevina as well. So Sin, yeah. I think that's mainly the matches I've got lined up for our nichelings. Okay, Sin's gonna grab this bit of meat and then he's gonna come here. We'll get Ilium. Oh my goodness, we're discovering so many new nichelings! Look at this! We have another god! So we have this male, here's another pixie. This time, uh, the pixie is not blind, so that's great. He has G and D, which I think we have both those, but we have both those, but I think that's still good. He brings other genes, which are kind of cool. He is a full pixie, interestingly enough, a full pixie, but I like the way he looks. He's got this really cool yellow coloring. I think we'll invite him in. So let's get Ilium to invite this nicheling in. He's going to get renamed and he's going to be a god. So we have with us now god agira so god uh hold on let me how do i spell this agira god agira welcome to the family look at that we're finding all of these pixie gods in the forest although it would be nice if we could go ahead and find some fairies ah oh, but hey we're getting some pixie gods i shan't complain now g and d are you compatible with any of our other females, which we only have really one more that can breed. G and D. G and I. F and D. Hmm. F and D. So no, not really. No, not really. I guess? No, yeah. Mm -mm. He's not compatible with anyone. Yevina's compatible with everyone, but uh, okay. Well, this god's gonna help us out with a little bit of food, I guess. Maybe not much else. He can't, yeah, he's more of a gatherer. He can't really hunt. That's okay, that's okay. We have other nichelings to help out, help us out with those things. Salium, let's grab some berries. Rose, stick close to Yevina. Let's grab berries here, Githania. And can't grab that nut, but I'll let Alfe do that for you. And then, there we go. We can hit the tree, grab even more nuts. And we'll get Yevina to collect up that, and she's gonna whack the tree as well. Rathara is gonna help out with these nuts, and then she's gonna clear away the grasses over here. Prince Eld. Prince Eld. There we go, let's clear that and dive in this direction. Stick close with your mother for now. And there we go, that's kind of cool. We've lost a few nichelings, but we've also kind of gathered up some new members, which is going to be really important to the gene pool in the future. But okay, our itty bitty nichelings are still taking their time to grow up. Vez Jane, she has time before she's going to settle into a nest, so nothing happening on that front anytime soon. I do feel though she's going to try and uh, do a little bit of hunting because she is kind of obsessed with that. Sin is going to come over here and um, gather up some berries. Salium is going to stick as close to Vezjane as possible. Let's see. Ilium. Ilium's getting pretty old. Agir is going to help him out over here. I guess they're striking up a bit of a friendship um, in the king's old age. Maybe Agir sees the king as a bit of a mentor. So that's nice. Rose, let's jump up this way. Okay, Githania is gonna have to grab this bundle. It's getting a little bit too tempting, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's hit the tree. Let's grab that. Nice, look at all the food we're getting. Look at all this food we're getting. So tempting, so tempting. Okay, Eld, let's clear away these grasses and then have you dive in here. Oh, look at that. As soon as he jumped out of the way, a bundle appeared. A bottle appeared from the shadows. Okay, turning the day. We still have a little teens over on this side. It's not too much. Vez Jane is ready to settle down on a nest. So I think I want her to jump up here. And then little baby monarch. Look at how cute she looks with her purple eyes. 
Oh my goodness, she's so adorable. She's so adorable with the purple eyes. Okay, Sin, why don't you come up here and try and play a bit over there? Salium's gonna come here and hopefully not fail at hunting. And Yevina is gonna help out. There we go, look at them working together. I'm glad Yevina is settling in. I can't wait till she's a little bit older and we can actually start breeding her. But okay guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.